Hi everyone and welcome to the BIM tutorial series. Today we're going to talk about payment proofs. Sometimes there can be a situation in which you send someone some beams and the other party claims that they never received them or on the contrary you did not receive the beams that the other party claims that they have sent. In order to avoid such disputes and have a cryptographically sound way of proving that the transaction actually went through, BIM provides the payment proof mechanism that I will show you today. In order to use payment proofs, you need to follow these three simple steps. First, you need to wait until the transaction appears as completed in the wallet. Then you make, need to make sure that the transaction kernel can be found in the blockchain explorer, which means that the block containing this transaction was mined. And then you can generate payment proof and send it to the receiver which can verify it and make sure the transaction actually went through. So let me show you how this works. First, we'll create a transaction by sending some amount of beams, let's say 150, to some address. We will now wait until the transaction is completed, which will, might take a few minutes. Now that the transaction appears in send status, we can click on the transaction details and here we will see the kernel ID. In order to make sure that the block was actually mined, we will need to open the blockchain explorer and look for this kernel ID. We can do that either by opening a browser and going to explorer.beam.mw or just by clicking this link here, which will open the correct kernel ID directly in the blockchain explorer. As you can see here, the block was not mined yet, so we'll have to wait for a few minutes for the block to be mined. Once the block is mined, you will be able to see the block details and our kernel that appears in the block. Now we can go back to the wallet and generate the payment proof. In the wallet, we can see that inside the transaction details, we see the payment proof buttons. We will click on details and this is the payment proof that was generated. It includes all the details about the transaction, the sender and receiver SBBS addresses, the amount and the kernel ID. So we can copy this code and send it to the other side. On the other side, the user will be verifying this code that we sent by clicking this button in the top right corner of the screen, which will open the payment proof verification window. And here we will paste the code that we received from the other side. And as you can see, it includes all these transaction details. And it is signed by the private key of the sender, which makes it unforgeable. And also we need to make sure that the kernel ID actually exists in the blockchain. This provides us with a cryptographically sound way of making sure that this transaction actually happened between these addresses, including this amount, and it was mined and appears in the blockchain. It's important to note that anyone, not just the receiver, can verify this proof and it includes some transaction details, so it's important not to share it with people you don't want to see this transaction, just with the receiver in case of a dispute. And so, as you can see, it is very simple to create a transaction proof in BIM, even though there is no information available on the blockchain itself. This concludes this tutorial series and thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel using the button below and have a great day.